Hello. Let me present to your attention a video instruction on using the program for automatic generation of trading robots, Layman EA Generator. First of all, you should make sure that the use of imported DLL files is allowed in your trading terminal. Now let's place the signals for learning our future neural network. During installation, the EA Generator program will set up files necessary for its operation to the terminal folder. One of these files is an expert advisor file called Make Signals. It serves to place signals on the chart. Let's run it on the Euro Dollar chart. Make Signals has several input parameters. All parameters are described in the documentation in the program, so I will not explain them in detail. Let's set the number of bars taken into account when forming a signal and the number of points needed to form a signal. Let's set the training period for the last 10 years. If you leave the default end date for training, training will continue until the current time. Also, when forming a signal, you can take into account the readings of one of the standard indicators. After the execution of make signals, we see red and blue arrows on the chart, which represent the signals on which the neural network will be learned. In the upper part of the chart there is a commentary, which indicates the input parameters on which the signals were generated, as well as the total number of buy and sell signals. Now let's move on to generating an advisor. The script make EA is used for this. Its input parameters are also described in the documentation. We should set the name of our future advisor, the number of bars in the training pattern, the parameters of the neural network, indicate the training period similar to the one for which we generated signals and a formula for converting data on quotes into input signals for the neural network. Sometime after starting the script, a window will appear in which you can specify a few more parameters. First of all, this is the final name of the advisor, as you can see, the name of the currency pair and the time frame on which we train the neural network have been added to the name that we specified in the input parameters to the script. In addition, here you can select the type of neural network, and also specify that the neural network should be placed in a DLL file, which will then be used by the advisor we generated for work. When all the parameters are specified, click on the OK button and wait for a while while the neural network is being learned. This usually takes a few minutes. After the end of learned, a file with the source code of your new advisor will appear in the folder with advisors. In order for this source code to be compiled, you need to open the context menu in the terminal navigator and select the update item. After that, the advisor will be compiled and we will have its X4 file. Now let's test the newly generated expert advisor in the strategy tester. To do this, select a test period, say the last year. Indicate the currency pair and time frame for which the training was performed. Most of the input parameters of the expert advisor are quite trivial. Here we can set the order size both fixed and as a percentage of the deposit. Let's indicate the stop loss and take profit levels and the value of the trailing stop. You can also select the trading days for the advisor, the start and end times of trading, set the magic number and comment for orders, the maximum spread and slippage. A rather significant parameter is the size of the admissible deviation of the neural network signal from 100% at which the order will be opened or closed. Once the parameters are specified, testing can begin. If we are satisfied with the testing results, we can launch our new expert advisor on a trading account. To do this, drag the expert advisor from the navigator to the chart of the currency pair on which the training was performed, and indicate the input parameters. I will set the same parameters that we used in testing. After setting the parameters, press the OK button. In the upper right corner of the chart, we see that our expert advisor is up and running. In the upper left corner there is a comment that displays the direction and strength of the signal. As you can see, the neural network returns a buy signal, but the signal strength is weak, only 30%. This is not enough to open an order. Another possibility of the Lehman EA generator program is the creation of neural network indicators. For this, the make indicator script is used. For the sake of demonstration, 
I'll leave the parameters at their default, only set a training period of 10 years. As in the case of training an expert advisor, after entering the input parameters, a window will open where we can specify the name of the new indicator and select the type of neural network. After that, click OK and wait for a while until the indicator learns. After the indicator has been generated, as in the case of the expert advisor, it is necessary to select the update item in the context menu of the terminal navigator. After that, our new indicator will appear in the indicators section. Let's put it on the chart. The indicator has only two input parameters, this is the size of the deviation of the neural network for drawing the signal on the chart. Let's set these parameters and click OK. As you can see, red and blue arrows appeared on the chart, indicating buy and sell signals. That's all I wanted to tell you about the Layman EA Generator program. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I wish you successful trading.